Hi, my name is Hilary Grissom. I'm a sales representative with Granite Fuel Engineering. Granite Fuel Engineering is a developer, designer, and manufacturer of fully integrated gas conditioning solutions. So come along as I show you the different systems here at the Dairy Township Wastewater Authority facility. The first step in our conditioning process is the H2S removal. So you'll see the vessel behind me. Inside of this vessel is actually a static media solution. So the gas will come in off of the digester, relatively saturated and at low pressure, and will enter into our lead lag valve skid here, where it's then processed into this vessel, removing the H2S. The gas then exits the vessel, comes back through the lead lag valve skid and into the next conditioning system. The gas coming into the H2S removal system is relatively saturated. So on our lead lag and parallel valve skids, we have condensate accumulators that will collect the condensate that's at the bottom of the tanks and remove it as needed. Once the gas leaves our H2S removal system, it's ready for gas boosting. So we actually move over to a different step here, which is our blower skid. Essentially the gas comes in, it's sent through a series of particulate filters and then a knockout tank to make sure that there's no water droplets that hit the blower. So we'll boost the gas through these three blowers in order to get it through the remaining conditioning components. Once the H2S has been removed and we send it to our blower system for additional pressure, we then send it to our dehydration systems to remove the moisture. So the gas actually comes in off the, the blower system relatively warm. So we'll send it through our economizer first. And the purpose of this economizer is to actually pre-cool the gas and take a little bit of the capacity off the chiller. Once the gas exits our economizer, it's then sent to our second heat exchanger, which uses glycol to chill the gas down to about 40 F. The glycol is brought in from this chiller here, sent into this heat exchanger here, where we're able to knock the gas temperature down and further remove the moisture in this knockout tank before it's sent to our siloxane and VOC removal system. Once the gas leaves our knockout tank, we then travel over to our temperature swing absorption system to remove siloxanes and VOCs. So the gas actually leaves this knockout tank at about 40 F and is sent to a series of particulate filters before it heads into our vessels and then ultimately back to this dehydration system to be reheated before it's used in downstream equipment. The regeneration process starts by introducing ambient air to the system, sending it through this heater here and then sending it to our TSA vessel to desorb the collected siloxanes and VOCs before it's then sent uh, to a flare or vented to atmosphere. Now that the siloxanes and VOCs have been removed, the gas is still at 40 F, so we need to send the gas back to our dehydration system for a reheat. The gas will exit the processing vessel and will come back to our dehydration system and pass to the economizer where the gas is then reheated and ready for usage. Thanks so much for following along and learning more about Granite Fuel's processes and different technologies and how we convert biogas into a reusable fuel for CHP.